And in our quick review section, we have the Fly, the B470. Now, let's start off with, I'll come to the more important parts about feature phones versus smartphones. But first, let's take a quick look at what this phone looks like. Now, the two big things in this is it is Wi-Fi enabled. It's got a trackpad out here that works pretty well. The screen's pretty nice. You will notice that it seems like I'm holding an exact BlackBerry, not a lookalike of a BlackBerry, an exact BlackBerry. I mean, the shell seems to be almost carved out of what BlackBerry uses. Same QWERTY, uh, slightly more shiny surface around the keys, which is interesting, but must be a complete fingerprint magnet. Screen, like I said, is pretty nice, small screen. Wi-Fi, huge, huge logo out here that says Wi-Fi enabled. 3.2 megapixel camera at the back. It's got its headphone, the USB, and all of that out here in the power thing. Now, surprisingly enough, I find this phone very heavy, and I thought maybe the reason is it's got a huge battery. Surprisingly, the battery is really small. It's just 1,050 mAh, which is also not good enough because it's a dual SIM phone. So it's a BlackBerry inspiration. It doesn't have the BlackBerry features. It's a nice looking phone. It has some little design elements that are good. But the point that comes is that phones like this, this one would be priced at about 4,000 in the market. Do they have enough now to take on the Android smartphones? Those are also Wi-Fi, GPS, and everything else. Do these feature phones, as we call them, have enough? The answer right now may be. The answer in three months, I don't think they'll be able to compete at the same price. So right now, we're going to give this an 8.5 to the Fly phone.